Welcome to a quick overview of TechPlot Chorus. In the next five minutes, we're going to walk through an example of how to set up a CFD project and to use Chorus to generate additional metadata. When working with a number of CFD cases, creating a project can be convenient. In this case, we'll go ahead and assume uh, we'll just create a simple SQLite database because we're going to take a look at a view of a UAV performance data set here. Okay, and we're going to look at uh, the data and we'll just call our, our project UAV test. Then we'll give the project name uh, something that's a little more descriptive than just UAV test. And once we have a project, in effect what we're going to do is aggregate the results together of the CFD that we're are the CFD results that we're interested in. And we'll use a CSV file which just points the results um, and we'll also select a directory which actually has the files in question. So we'll say that the files in this case are just file names fine but that's the raw data. There's also a series of variables in there. We can set these as dependent or independent. In effect if they're a derived variable we'd want to make sure they're dependent Whereas if they were one of the initial conditions, we'd probably leave them as independent. But really, uh, depending on the number you have, uh, you can do this kind of in a one-click method. I'm, I'm doing it the hard way here, but you get the idea. So once we click OK, we're going to bring those results in. Let's take a look at uh, the data. As you can see, it brings in, you can see that on the sidebar, we have the data. And if I look at a spreadsheet, you can see here are my uh, metadata that I brought in, the alpha, beta, mock as well as the derived quantities lift drag and for any one of these we can then take a look at the raw data here and we'll bring this in and this will actually come up in the TechPlot Chorus deep dive application which today is based on TechPlot 360. So as the data loads in in effect what we're looking at is the raw data and we'll apply some style information in this case we'll just put the contour of pressure um, and we'll kind of zoom in here we're interested in pressure on the body and perhaps another way that we can do this is to uh, take a look at, say, a series of stream traces or even a slice. So we may just want to set this up. You know, what is the most convenient view of the data? And we're going to grab some stream traces because it helps us understand the mock alpha and beta just by looking at that. And once we have something that looks pretty good here, we can actually take advantage of the fact that this is the view we want for everything. We're going to save this as a template. So we'll just call this a simple template here. Uh, so it could be something as simple as slice or slice one. So once the style is available, if you can think through now, if I want to evaluate all my results, I can say take a look at any one data file and open it now with that new context, this slice one. And what that will do is bring the data in. You can see now we have two data sets and we're looking at overall the same contour levels, the same style. Or if I'm interested, what I can do is set up and create images and do that by using the same information I had before and now we're going to actually batch process these data. And you can see it's running in a job as we speak. Okay, once the results are done here, we'll go ahead and deposit them to our project. So in, in essence, what we've just done is we've created an image for each one of our solutions. So when we view images, you can see now that I've created an image for about 32 solutions. And I'll show labels here so that you can see for each one of these solutions, we're looking at mock, alpha, beta, and we'll look at drag as the derived variable. I'll quick zoom in here, and you can see that uh, we have, here's the mock point four example and if I just page down now I can walk through all my results one by one almost as a film strip and evaluate the, how the system is changing and how it is behaving. In addition to looking at kind of individual slices or individual images we can also look at a collective view which is more of a matrix where we're looking at images as a function of mock and alpha kind of a matrix of mock and alpha and again you can see how things are changing in a systematic way. Once we have the data available, let's go ahead and talk about how we can use TechPlot Chorus to evaluate the metadata as well as the image data. So let's shift our focus now from qualitative to quantitative data by looking at a series of response surfaces 
for our variables of interest. So in this case, we'll look at uh, response surface and drag, but let's also create one for mock or for, in this case, lift. So we can very quickly start to understand what those surfaces look like, how they fit through the data. And because we have access to the actual solution derived data, we can also take a look at these data as more of a XY line plot to take a look at that. We'll look at each individual alpha curve and we can walk through alpha and now look at the derived quantities and get a sense of how well our surface fits to the observed data. We can also do this in a qualitative way by walking through alpha in 3D and we can select perhaps a group of solutions at a given alpha and do a deep dive. So if we grab the solutions in question here and do a deep dive in our chorus deep dive application again based on TechPlot 360. So you will see it will come up with our results. It's going to use the same style information and now we've actually brought in four solutions instead of just one. We're going to go ahead and make this a little easier to see after we rotate this around. Let's go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we can tile these individual frames and we'll move this up so it's a little easier. Now we can kind of operate on each one of these mock numbers uh, in the same environment. So if we decided we don't want to look at one uh, slice, for example, we can actually update that style throughout each individual frame with just a click of the button. And that's how you can do both the quantitative and qualitative deep dive within TechPlot Chorus. TechPlot Chorus provides a framework then for metadata analysis, results creation, and overall project management. For more information on TechPlot Chorus, please visit our website, www.techplot.com. TechPlot Chorus should be available sometime summer 2011.